Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumay Vishwash and I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is zinc in acetic acid. This is a very famous reagent used in reduction of organic molecules. So a lot of chemistry to be learned in this video before going to details for MCQ. The MCQ is which of the element has similar chemical properties with zinc? Four options are provided. I request you please pause the video and write your answer in the comment box and definitely at the end of the discussion you will get the right answer. By the way please remember one statement self evaluation is essential for improvement so I request you please try by yourself. Now let's go to our main topic first before going to details where does zinc actually resides. Zinc is, is actually a D block element but generally it doesn't con called as transition metal because the most stable oxidation state of this zinc is zinc 2 plus where the D orbital is completely filled. So that's why some people call this as a D block element but it doesn't belong to the transition metal group. Whereas if you look at copper the previous neighbor whose stable oxidation state is plus 2 that means D9 that's why this is called both D block element as well as transition metals. Now so what is the main features of this zinc acetic acid? Student please learn this part carefully because during the explanation of many example I am not I shall not explain this thing every time uh, so I decided to provide this thing at the beginning please learn it carefully such that it helps you to understand the mechanism in details first zinc releases two electron and became this zinc 2 plus and these two electron can reduce either the organic compound or if no organic compound present in the medium it will reduce the proton present from from the acetic acid and produce this hydrogen gas because we know that acetic acid ionizes it's a weak acid so it produces this uh, acetate anion and proton and this proton got oxidized and ultimately it produces this hydrogen gas so this is the overall chemistry since it produces two electron it act as a reducing agent or it's reducing in nature and this is happened because if zinc releases two electron it gets the out the outermost valence shell gate nearest noble gas electronic configuration actually it is not completely the argon configuration this argon configuration with filled d orbital that's why it releases these two s electrons and became this zinc 2 plus so this is the driving force for this electron release now so why this reagent is actually important because it's capable of wide range of reduction reaction although such kind of reaction could be performed by variety number of reagent but that due to the mildness and proper selectivity this reagent is chosen and remember one statement student that generally less reactive reagents are often more selective and that's why they are very important in chemical transformation now mainly we can say three type of uh, reaction we are going to watch one is carbon halogen bond one is carbon carbon multiple bond having electron withdrawing group and third type of is like heteroatom heteroatom bond double bond or single bond type like n double bond n is double bond is etc so let's come to our first example this reductive elimination of vicinal dihalide please remember vicinal means one two you can remember that two country neighbor two neighboring country if you want to go you need a visa so from that concept you can remember this is the vicinal and the opposite one means same carbon two substituent that is geminal now what happens similarly zinc releases two electron and that two electron first reduces any one of bond either x carbon x or carbon y and produces a carbon and type intermediate and second it attacks and it leaves and ultimately produces and alkene so this is actually reductive halogenation to prepare the alkene and you can say see here i have already discussed a um, dedicated mcq on this topic so you may visit it for better understanding with complete mechanism now let's come to the second example the second example is an iodolactone derivative which similarly got reduced in presence of zinc and acetic acid just the mechanism same as before i showed and ultimately it resulted in a alkene formation so you can see the overall reaction and see the conversion it's 100 percent within 30 minutes under refluxing condition now the next example is actually carbon heteroatom cleavage and in this case you can see an interesting thing that there are two types of group present either this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound or you can say double bond and there is one carbon 
uh, there is a there are two actually carbon chlorine bond and in this case selectively carbon chlorine bond is reduced because they are more prone to reduction they are more reducing they are actually they are more prone to reduction that's why zinc preferentially reduces the carbon halogen bond but this carbon carbon double bond means this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl in this case remain unaffected but sometime it reacts we shall come after some time now next example is actually reduction of aryl substituent and in this case you can see that actually there are two chlorine one this two chlorine among this two chlorine only one chlorine got reduced means the chlorine closer to this pyridine ring got reduced by this zinc acetic acid means it's actually from this two electron and ultimately it end up here now a question may come that sir why this chlorine is got reduced not another so the difference if you look at little closely that in this case this chlorine is closer to uh, this chlorine is closer to this heteroatom nitrogen means a withdrawing and remember this how this reaction actually happens if you look at very closely this is the sigma and this is the sigma star this sigma is filled and this sigma star is vacant so where the electron goes the electron from zinc 2 plus means from the zinc atom which releases the two electron goes to the sigma star now so question where going is possible obviously here that's why this bond is broken now next question why this goes preferentially to the sigma star of this carbon chlorine bond this is because the presence of this nitrogen this is a my understanding that the presence of this nitrogen a electronegative atom lowers the energy of sigma star consequently electron could be given to relatively low lying in or uh, sigma star orbital and preferentially these halogen could be reduced so this is the overall and by the way please don't be confused student uh, so actually this reaction is mainly because of the electron mediated react reduction not nucleophilic substitution reaction and you can see ultimately hydrogen came here not any other group so please don't get confused about this re electron based reduction versus aromatic nucleophilic substitution on this ccl bond now we have understood about this now let's come to the second example and you can see here a thiophin moiety but this thiophin is tri substituted this is one two and three and you can see after re reaction only two left question why other see these two bond these two carbon bromine bonds are also closer to an another heteroatom sulfur means if this reduction is done then ultimately you can consider that some negative charge density will be generated on this center so that could be stabilized because after means see this actually ultimately b this is minus one br so it will remain in br minus but what is actually changing changing about the carbon and why because two electron two electrons are taken so that's why this thing is easier because the sigma star is lower because presence of this sulfur atom so that's why these two selectively reacts whereas the third one or this two number it survives and overall yield you can see 89 uh, percent and the condition is also relatively optimal now let's come to another example that is carbon carbon bond formation and these are actually a pinacol type reaction because we know uh, that pinacol coupling of carbonyl compounds to form one to diol could be promoted by zinc acetic acid with aromatic aldehyde in the place of the more usual magnesium so this we understand and here is a special example that is a alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde now you can think that sir why this one to actually we say consider this is one two one two type of coupling why why not one four see if you look at this molecule little closely that carbon means see this two is actually more electron deficient why because it is directly attached to the heteroatom oxygen so both minus i as well as minus r works efficiently on this carbon means it can accept electron efficiently so after accepting one electron what is produces after accepting one electron it produces a radical anion 
so similarly another you can consider that radical anion could be generated means here so this is another radical anion and these two radical anion can couple and ultimately it will result in this diol or pinacol derivative so this is a very exceptional example so i guess you have understood now let's come to the next example that is de-aromatization of aromatic system here you can see in terms of this zinc acetic acid room temperature 45 minutes see how efficient this reaction actually is that this aromatic ring means this pyridine ring selectively reduces so this is the first step let us understand the first step question why this pyridine ring got reduces now the same exact concept that where which part is more electron deficient in that part the electron will go now if you look at this moiety is actually a heterocyclic moiety having a nitrogen atom and we know that pyridine is electron deficient compared to benzene and if you look the other counterpart that is actually a phenolic derivative you may consider a phenolic ether we know that phenol increases the electron density in the benzene ring and second part the heteroatom is not part of the benzene ring so you may consider that ring number one means phenolic ring is activated or electron rich whereas ring number two or this nitrogen is electron deficient and see which one is electron deficient that's corresponding antibonding orbitals are lower in energy consequently this electron will go to the lower energy or antibonding orbital that is this spiridine ring so that's why it selectively reduces spiridine ring and this product is produced now question what about the third step if you look at this third step is nothing but a cyclization here the ring is formed and question how this is formed now let's count see it's a six member ring form let's count this thing little if you fast so one two three four five so this is actually one sorry i made a mistake this is not one five this is one six three four five six see student this is the beauty of numbering system if you do any mistake it will be pointed out instantly so we know this nitrogen has one lone pair of electron and that lone pair of electron gives here it opens up come back and it leaves so this is nothing but a intramolecular reaction and we know that intramolecular reactions are favored over intermolecular one due to both thermodynamics and kinetics point of view now so from this what it is produced it is produced a intramolecular amide or it's a tertiary amide you may consider also so intramolecular reaction in this way happened and ultimately this ring is produced the interesting point is selective reduction of this pyridine moiety and this reduction happened due to the electron deficiency means where the deficiency there electron will prefer to go at that so now let's come to another example and this is actually heteroatom heteroatom cleavage and you can see it's a diazine means uh, this nitrogen nitrogen double bond is there one side is ph another side is air so these are not for point of discussion so similarly reduction with zinc acetic acid it produces this is a hydrazine derivative so this is another interesting example please try to remember this in this way hydrazines are formed not only hydrazine if you have a ss bond so this so this could also be reduced by this two electron to corresponding sh actually why h where from where i'm this bringing this h because it's second workup so during the workup it got this hydrogen and ultimately it produces now in this case who is supply you may consider this acetic acid because this acetic acid ionizes and produces this acetate minus and h plus so after accepting electron this bond will break and ultimately they'll convert s minus and ultimately they will absorb the proton and ultimately they'll convert this sh so you can see this is a this is the oxidized amino acid means ss bond disulfide linkage and that is selectively reduced to corresponding sh and here interesting point is that see there is an bock protection 
we know bulk protection is a selective protection because it's labile in nature not only that this carboxyl group is also protected and under this reaction condition only this sh got means this ss1 got clipped second point there is the asymmetry it is the very important means in under this reaction condition peptide racemization didn't happen or the asymmetric center and on this amino acid didn't destroy it and this is the interesting thing and by the way i have already discussed about peptide racemization you may see it because it's a very interesting topic now so let's come to the conclusion what you have learned it is actually a mild sil uh, and selective reducing agent and in this case zinc releases two electron which ultimately reduces the organic molecule and in this case the interesting thing low lying orbital prefers to be reduced first an attachment of electronegative atom reduces the antibonding orbital energy level where the electron goes so these are the main thing we have learned so let's come back to our mcq which of the element has similar chemical properties with zinc actually the answer is magnesium not other one why if you look at this periodic table this is zinc this is aluminium this is actually silver okay so and what are the other calcium and here is calcium and finally this is magnesium as i told answer because you know one term diagonal relationship means like properties of lithium magnesium resembles so similar type of thing you can observe so the aluminium property is completely different with zinc this silver is also different because silver property is similar to copper and only this magnesium because you may consider this diagonal relationship type means this actually this so that's why their property is closer actually i don't think it's a good explanation but actually this is the information that the property between magnesium and zinc resembles that's why you have seen one example where pinacol formation generally we know that pinacol formation could be achieved by using metal like magnesium similar property could be obtained by using zinc so these magnesium and zinc have some similar properties so uh, this is the overall discussion and now this is the reference where i have taken this lecture you may visit and check if you want now this is the end of the discussion thanks for watching and if you really enjoy please help my channel to grow and more interestingly if you really enjoy my teaching i request you please visit my another channel climate and chemistry where i upload global warming and climate change related videos thank you god bless you see you in my next video